Alexa snooze. Snoozing. Alexa, Merry Christmas. Good morning. Lately, we have been starting the day with a bottle of milk and a show. Today, we are watching Daniel Tiger. It gives me a few minutes to pull myself together first thing, which I greatly need. Graham absolutely loves it, and it helps me start the day on the right foot. As you can see, I have a lot of mood lighting. We have a lot of Alexa lights that help us keep the lighting on the dimmer side, but also it helps us enjoy the seasons by changing the colors accordingly. After Graham is taken care of and the coffee is started, I open up the blinds. I like to think of it as waking up the house as well as ourselves. I like to get dressed right away because it helps me be in a more productive mindset, even if I may change again before I leave the house. It always takes a little longer to leave in the morning since having Graham, so I like to pour Doug's coffee to make that transition a little smoother for him to get out the door. Next, it's time for some movement. I'm a few days delayed, but I've been enjoying the new flow yoga journey from Yoga with Adrian. It doesn't seem like it in this video as you can see Graham crawling all over me, but on typical mornings he's able to watch his show in bed with his milk while I exercise in the other room. I usually don't have time for a whole video before he comes running in, but Doug tries to keep him occupied in the other room while I'm taking some time for myself. Today I called it quits a few minutes before the video ended and while Graham was finishing up yoga in the living room, I made the bed. Next it's time to get Graham ready for the day so we wake up his room, change his diaper and get him dressed. Sometimes I get him partially dressed the night before so it makes things a little easier for us in the morning. These are some little trinkets that I've had for years and Graham is fascinated with them. He isn't normally allowed to play with them, but when I'm changing his diaper I let him fiddle with them. I'm watching him so closely and it keeps him in one spot instead of rolling all around. This morning my dad called and asked if he could take Graham to breakfast. Today I was in a Disney mood so I made Mickey waffles with the pancake mix they use in Disney World. Sometimes when I'm making breakfast I like to make a big batch of something so that I can freeze it and pull it out when needed for a quick start to the day. While I'm in the kitchen in the morning I like to listen to the Bible in a Year devotional on the Bible app. Devotional time looks a little different now than it used to. It used to be cozy up on a couch with a blanket and a hot coffee in my hand instead of listening while cooking or cleaning and drinking coffee that's been reheated three times and is still cold. But I want to be intentional even if it looks a little different. My puzzle item on my winter bucket list hasn't made it very far. I unintentionally bit off more than I could chew when I didn't realize it was 2,000 pieces. Unfortunately, this is one item I probably won't be able to finish before it's time for the next bucket list, but it was fun while it lasted. I think I'll bring it out again next year. While I was eating breakfast, I changed up what I was listening to and was listening to a true crime podcast before I cleaned up the kitchen and made the rest of the waffles. After cleaning up the kitchen, it's cleaning time. I try to knock my cleaning tasks out in the morning when I have the most energy. Of all the household cleaning tasks, laundry is my least favorite, so I try to do that first. What are you doing? Hi, 
nice of you. All this stuff. Today is shirts day and if I'm being honest, I am a few piles behind so this is more than one load of laundry, as you can probably tell. I tried to get as much of the laundry folded before Graham got back as he loves to disassemble my sorted piles. I always tell him he's so good at taking things apart. Sometimes I feel like I want to get ready and sometimes I don't and today was a I don't want to get ready day so I did a little bit just to make me feel like I took care of myself and then moved on to the next thing. Next on to the daily cleaning task. Today is Wednesday so it's dusting day. I split the house into two and I'm doing the living spaces this week and next week it'll be the bedrooms. Once the dusting is done, so is today's morning routine. Thank you for joining me on this productive and calm morning routine with me. See you in the next one.